Oh my gosh. Does that suck? Welcome everybody to the second episode ever of Does That Suck? A video podcast of sorts that looks at movies that, well, let's just say they're not exactly classics. The Avengers opened up in cinemas across the country, making tons and tons of money. Ever since the X-Men franchise kicked some ass way back in the year 2000, comic book movies have gotten a resurgence of popularity. You've got a lot of great movies, and you've had a lot of trash as well. So while the Avengers take some of Marvel's greatest characters like Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye, puts them all in the same movie, causing geeks everywhere to blow their loads, today we're going to look at some of Marvel's, well, let's call them less successful movie entries. Since Captain America is on the Avengers themselves, let's start with him. Now a lot of people think that last year's big hit Captain America the First Avenger was the first time Captain America appeared on the movie screen. That's a little incorrect. He actually first appeared back in the 40s in a movie serial, but we're not reviewing that today because I don't have access to that. But the most infamous attempt to bring Captain America to the big screen was 1990's Captain America. This movie was so notoriously bad, it didn't even get released theatrically in the United States, and didn't get a home video release until 1992 in the US. Most glaring of all was that this movie had pretty much zero stars. Captain America was played by Matt Salinger. If you're wondering who Matt Salinger is, yeah, guess what, so did everyone else. While they did remain pretty true to the costume, if you look closely, see those ears that are sticking out of Captain America's mask? Rubber ears, the Red Skull, practically not a Red Skull the entire movie. And I think they made him Italian? Instead of a Nazi? Or something. Now, to be fair, this is not nearly as bad as those Captain America TV movies from the 1970s, but trust me, this Captain America is one of the worst. Next on the list, we have the Fantastic Four. No, not the Fantastic Four from 2005, starring future Captain America, Chris Evans. You see, that was a big budget Hollywood blockbuster. And while the movie wasn't great, it was actually true to the characters, had some decent special effects, and wasn't altogether boring. In other words, it looked like people actually spent money on this movie, even though the results weren't excellent. No, I'm talking about the 1994 movie, The Fantastic Four. Never heard of it? Yeah, I don't blame you. A lot of people haven't. Actually, pretty much the only way you can get a hold of this movie is by going to comic book conventions and going to the bootleg vendors. Yeah, you could probably pick this baby up for about 25 bucks. And let me tell you, you may as well take those $25, put them in the toilet, take a nice big crap on them, and you'll probably get the same amount of enjoyment out of it too. This Fantastic Four movie was made on pretty much zero dollars. The effects are pretty much some of the worst things I have ever seen in my entire life. You thought the thing in the 2005 movie looked a little rubbery? Those are groundbreaking effects compared to the 1994 version. He looked like a ninja turtle crossed with a freaking circus peanut. Now to be fair, this movie wasn't intended to be released in the theaters. It was only supposed to drum up interest in investors to make a, a bigger budget live action movie. After seeing this turd, it's no wonder that we didn't get a Fantastic Four movie until about 11 years later. Next on the list is the infamous Howard the Duck. Now Howard the Duck actually has some people you may have heard of like Leah Thompson from Back to the Future, and Tim Robbins from The Shawshank Redemption. Both movies that are so far out of Howard the Duck's league, they're not even the same sport anymore. Howard the Duck is the infamous Marvel Comics character that's just a duck. Seriously, that's it. He comes from a planet of ducks from another galaxy, and that's it. He has no superpowers. He's just a duck. That's the whole concept. Someone thought this would make a good movie. Seriously. If anything, Howard Duck is just one of those movies you gotta see to believe. Just to say that you experienced the thing. Seriously, a duck. And then of course, the Punisher. No, not this Punisher starring Thomas Jane and John Travolta, but the 1989 version starring Ivan Drago himself, Dolph Lundgren. The setup is essentially the same. Punisher's family gets killed, he decides to wage a war against crime. And the result? Dolph Lundgren with jet black hair, doing very little actual punishing. I mean, yeah, he kills a couple people, but it's nothing like the splatter gore fest that was Punisher Warzone from a few years ago. This movie barely deserves its R rating. It's just lame. And for some reason, the Punisher's walking around with the rhyming homeless man. Honestly, I'm not making that up. A rhyming homeless man. And finally, to kind of tie everything together, we have an Incredible Hulk double feature. Now, the last Hulk movie that came out in 2008 this one, was actually pretty good and was largely ignored because that summer had two incredibly awesome comic book movies. 
2008's Incredible Hulk was actually pretty good. So don't think I'm talking about that. I'm actually talking about the TV show, which actually wasn't too bad either back in its day. The TV movies, however. First, we have the trial of the Incredible Hulk. Now, I'm not going to get into the logistics of what's happening, but essentially Bruce Banner is on trial for whatever, being the Hulk or something. Helping him out is Matt Murdock, who, if you don't know, is this guy. Now, a lot of people hate this movie, and maybe justifiably so. It's not great. Why do I own it? That's besides the point. In the trial of the Incredible Hulk, you do get the first on-screen appearance of Daredevil. Unfortunately, instead of looking like Ben Affleck, he looks like this guy. Kinda wishing you had Ben Affleck back, huh? Daredevil and the Hulk team up to take down the mob or something, and the results are just laughably bad. Then we have the death of the Incredible Hulk. Now this movie stars the Hulk, of course, and Thor. No, not that Thor. This Thor. This will send you back to hell, you ugly troll! Honestly, there aren't even words. You can actually pick up these two movies on DVD. Not that you really want to. Honestly, for every movie we get that's like this... Gonna get one that looks like this. <laughs> that does it for me, folks. Thanks for watching yet another episode of Does That Suck? Social media time. Remember to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and on Tumblr. Check out theessentialfilms.blogspot.com where I just counted down the top 25 superhero movies of all time. And of course, listen to Force Perspective here on the Super Friends Universe, where Sports Guy 515 and I look at Hollywood's biggest hits. See you next time.